welcome to this F5 course uh, um, in which we'll cover LTM and GTM. This is first class of our LTM. And the first thing that we will going to cover is why we use our LTMs in the network. So LTM, you this big IP LTM, we also call it as load balancers. And you this F5 LTM, uh, the main functioning which I would uh, say of this box is to load balance the traffic uh, on our backend servers. If the, the first utilization is if you have your end servers which are running uh, like same service and for an example, I'm considering the application that we are running on our backend servers is a web service. So we are running a web service uh, on our backend servers. It is uh, like xyz.com. We have like two servers and what we want is uh, the first request that comes come for this server should go to server one and the second server that uh, which come for this uh, website, it, it goes to your server too. So basically what happens is, uh, so this is your F5. Uh, you can see that like we only have a single F5. So th this request first comes to your F5 and later on on this F5, we set uh, load balancing mechanisms. And on basis of those load balancing mechanism, it further send those requests to your uh, internal servers. And if I want like first request goes to your my server one and second request go uh, when it comes to uh, your F5, it goes to your server two, okay? Uh, this we achieve uh, through a load balancing mechanism that we call as round robin. Now this is very basic load bal balancing mechanism that we choose on F5. We have tons of load balancing mechanism. Like if you have uh, this server is uh, powerful uh, in perspective of uh, configuration uh, than this server. So what we can set is, uh, this is again another like load balancing mechanism. Like uh, out of three connections, I want to send two connections to this server, then one connection to this. And after that, like fourth and fifth connection will again go to first server and uh, sixth connection will go to server two. So this is again, a, uh, another kind of uh, uh, load balancing mechanism. Okay, so the first benefit, which I would say is we do load balancing through F5. And if you say like, we call it as load balancer. So this is the main functioning, which you can achieve through this device. Second thing, uh, the main thing I would say, this is that we configure health monitors. Uh, what do I mean by health monitors? The backend servers on which uh, this F5 device do the load balancing, we configure health monitors on F5 to monitor your these device these servers. Uh, now we can simply set a ping ping check on these two servers. Like your F5 will keep on pinging these servers to check if they are uh, physically available or not. And apart from this ping health check, what we can also set is like first, I would say A is ping. Second, what we can do is service check. Now, what is the benefit of this service check? We can do ping on these servers. And what if in a scenario, uh, that this web, web server, uh, there is some problem with the web service. Now, th what I mean is your server one is actually available. We can ping it, but we cannot 
access the service. So this xyz.com, even the request reaches to this server, we are not getting anything in the response. So that is again a problem. And the good thing uh, with the F5 is we can prevent these scenarios. So in case uh, if like we have these two servers and in case this uh, server one, uh, there is some problem with the web service and it uh, no longer responding back with the actual response that it should uh, present to us. Uh, this on FI, we can set this service check. So like it, it can uh, 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 send, we can configure on F5, like from time to time, send this uh, uh, request to X5, like this server and check what response we are getting. And when we have the problem with the service and this F5 will also not get the actual response it is expecting, then it will mark this server as inactive in its configuration. And later on, it will it will no longer uh, send any other web requests to this server. So your end user, this one, you won't see uh, when it is trying to access this this web service. It is uh, it is not getting that like uh, uh, the errors that we usually get when we cannot access a web uh, a website, a timeout error or any other address like four zero four or other errors. So we can prevent uh, these kind of like services uh, outages also through F5, right? Like you have uh, heard of like on firewalls, we can we can configure like IPSLA or, or other, other stuff for uh, monitoring, uh, but they cannot give you the, um, the provision to check the service check. So you can, from your firewalls or your routers, you can configure the IPSLA on, that only check uh, up to layer three connectivity. But this F5 devices, it has the capability to check actual the layer seven uh, part, the payload. But responses we are actually getting from, uh, from these servers. And it's not only like for this web service, you can you can check this layer seven like, like service check, whatever your service is uh, on F5 uh, website, it, it gives you the knowledge how you can configure service check for different applications. Okay, third benefit, which I would say uh, is you can redirect your applications uh, flow like, what do I mean by that? Uh, redirect is if these servers are running on 443, but earlier they used to run on port 80. And again, it is the same website. And from outside, if this client uh, will try to access HTTP, double colon, then this hash, uh, xyz.com, and when it reaches to uh, through this switch to F5, on F5, we can set redirection rules. Uh, through that redirection rules, we can say if uh, we, we receive a request and that is on port 80 for this website, convert it to port uh, 443. And as your backend servers are actually running on port 443, and then this request will ultimately reach to these servers on port 443. Uh, this is what we achieved through iRule. And it is very powerful tool in F5. Uh, we'll study about it, like what is iRule and how we actually set on F5 uh, in dedicated classes uh, when we'll study this iRule. But this is also a powerful tool uh, uh, what we use on F5. Uh, so this is some of the basics, uh, basic tasks that you configure on your F5. Uh, 
Now, I will allow you guys, if you have any question, like I know we we studied this uh, stuff yesterday also. So all clear up to here, right? Clear, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay. 